Okay, welcome to another video. Uh, let's build a provider using the Prater app. So, on my screen you can see I created, I have a testing server uh, and I have created two uh, virtual machines. Uh, each has uh, 20, I think it's 24 cores no 12 CPUs and uh, 32 gigs of memory and uh, 100 gigabytes of uh, storage uh, this is just for testing purposes so this is uh, more than enough and uh, uh, I have two of them and uh, they're both actually uh, they are both connected directly to the internet so they have uh, an actual public IP address and uh, in this video we will just be uh, <coughs> building a provider on this one, the Prater 1 node. So it will be a single server and then in future videos I'm going to show you how to build a multi-node setup and also how to add another node to your server. I'm going to show you how to add persistent storage but that's all things to come. In this video, we're just going to be building uh, a server using Praetor uh, on a single node. Uh, <clears throat> so let's get started. Uh, let me just switch screens. Okay, we have the Praetor app on on screen. So uh, first thing, what you want to do is go to akash.praetorapp.com. So we don't this. We don't. You don't need this part, but uh, you're, you're gonna end up here anyway. So click on connect, and you need to approve the. You, it's not showing because the uh, the screen recording software is not recording pop-up windows. But I just got. Uh, uh, I need to approve the transaction so that Prater uh, can connect to my uh, Kepler wallet. Uh, so this is asking us what uh, uh, about the Kubernetes build. Akash is built on top of Kubernetes, so the uh, every step on every type of installation uh, will first uh, the first uh, Kubernetes has to be installed. So we are doing one server. The host name is uakash.net. Port is 22, username is root, and I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, the uh, RSA key pair uh, that we created in the last video. And we're going to be using the file. And now we're getting to the part where uh, uh, we need to select the... Uh, we need to share the private key with Praetor. So, in last video, I've shown you how to create a separate RSA key pair just for this purpose. You don't, and I, I actually advise you not to use this key pair with anything else other than Praetor. And it will only be uh, for them, uh, well not them personally, but uh, their system to have access to your server. So the .pub one is the public key and the other one which is called only ID underscore RSA is the private key and this is the one that we need to share. Uh, we did not create a passphrase and we do not have a GPU and what we also need to do is uh, put this uh, put this public key into the uh, authorized keys so SSH root at uh, actually, hold on. Let me let me log in, and I'm gonna show you then. Okay, I logged into the the server. This is the Prater one, and if we dash ls dash la, we can see that we have the dot ssh directory created. So we need to cd into dot ssh. SSH. And there is the authorized keys file, and we need to nano this authorized key file and I already have a one key here 
which is another key from that's for my access and now what you need to do is open the public part with some text editor and paste the parts here and uh, after you have pasted the this uh, part uh, the key part you can add uh, you can add uh, like a note for yourself what this key is for and save and exit and now let's go back to this part now we can just click on next and the Praetor app will use the RSA key pair and connect without any passwords and uh, there you go this is the installation of the uh, Akash provider using Praetor app I'm gonna leave this running and it should be done in a few minutes uh, not, I'm just gonna skip this part uh, where it's installing and there will be a few reboots of the server uh, included as well so uh, you don't need to watch that and waste your time so. okay so this is almost nearly done we just need to wait a few more minutes seconds I don't know and then we, we can continue here we go so now we need to import the wallet that uh, is going to be used uh, with this provider uh, you can use uh, you can use this what they call Praetor method uh, where you need to enter your seed phrase uh, if we click on next uh, the system will ask us for a seed phrase if we go to manual then we actually need to manually import uh, the seed phrase ourselves uh, and uh, I mean this is the more secure way of doing it but uh, you need to be know what you're doing so uh, I'm using this uh, this account is basically not for anything else than for testing so I'm just gonna be using the Praetor mode uh, but uh, definitely if you um, if you feel like it uh, just go ahead and uh, do the manual and uh, yeah that will be way more secure so I'll be back as soon as I uh, fill this in there we go that's done domain name in our case is euroarkash.net organization Europlots. okay next and this is the pricing uh, we can leave all these at uh, the defaults uh, I mean you will want to change them uh, depending on what you want but uh, for the purpose of this video this is fine to so just leave them at defaults uh, now <coughs> Uh, it's gonna uh, ask us to update our provider attributes this process can cost quite a bit of uh, AKT and uh, yeah every, every time you're updating your uh, provider uh, attributes uh, you will need to pay those uh, there's no way around that I'm not gonna be doing that for this video I'm not gonna be updating anything no need to spend any <laughs> any more AKT so yeah again let's just wait a few more seconds here we go and the provider is up uh, you can apply for an audit here I definitely suggest that you do that because a lot of the tenants will actually only uh, deploy on two providers that have been audited this audit is only a functional audit basically it means that somebody from the core team will check if your provider is working uh, properly and if it is it's gonna get signed and that's that we're gonna be skipping that and uh, here we go we are in the uh, uh, Praetor pro provider dashboard 
we don't have any deployments, we don't have any orders, this is a brand new provider. Uh, yeah, as soon as uh, you get uh, uh, some leases, uh, uh, yeah, this is gonna start, these uh, are gonna start changing. Uh, one more thing, if you go to cloudmos.io, uh, you need to wait at least 15 minutes to 30 minutes uh, for your brand new provider to show up. So be patient and uh, yeah. I hope you have found this video informative. If you did, please uh, like, share, subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them below. If you have any questions, please shoot. Uh, please visit the Akash uh, Discord server. Uh, we are providing support for uh, anyone on over there so yeah see you in the next one